Nay. Moo. Bonjour. Hi, what are you doing? Hi, I want me to stall you in grass, but I can't reach it. Wait, here, I've got an idea. Hello everybody, I'm Sergey, your go-to PPT game host, and I'm thrilled to present to you a new game. It's called Aini and Buris, The Great Grass Debacle. But before we continue, if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe because all of my PowerPoint games are absolutely free to download. You can find a link in the description. And if you already subscribed, please give a like and watch this video till the end because at the end I will explain to you how to modify this game. Now let's continue with the game. So here is a map of a farm and you need to find these three objects. Let's go to this one. You went to the pigsty. One of the pigs has a watering can. But be careful, don't make too much noise, otherwise a grandpa pig will come out and you will lose the game. So students need to press on a pig and a pig makes noise. And behind this pig there's nothing, but if you're gonna press on some other pig, you can lose the game. And then you need to press on a cat to restart until you find the watering can. When you found a watering can, you can press on it and will take you back. And then you can choose another item. You are in a workshop, but here we've got a dog and you need to press on a box to find a bone for a dog. When you press on the box, you make a noise and sometimes when you press on a wrong box, it can be a game over. But when you when you find a bone, you press on a bone. The bone disappears, and the dog disappears, and then you press on a mattress. And this way, you can complete the level. Press on a feather. Here, you are in a hen house, and similar idea where you press on a chicken. There's nothing behind. Be careful of the rooster. <laughs> and when you press on the correct one, you press on a feather. When you're done, you press on Moorish. Here is the mattress. The only thing is we need to clean it. Now you need to press on the mattress. Thanks. Now I finally can enjoy the top rooms. And then you press on a cat. Nay. Bonjour. And this is the end for the game. Okay, now let me show you how you can add questions to the pigs and to the chickens. So as you can see down under the fifth slide, slide number six, and from slide number six to slide number 15, you've got 10 slides because you've got 10 pigs. On the question slide, you can change the image from file. The cat's hat is an image and you can change the question by pressing on the question. Uh, let me turn this on and you will see. If you press yes, you're gonna get a coin and if you press no, it's gonna be nothing. This way you actually can write down names on a blackboard and then students can press on a pig and when they answer correct they can get a coin, a point, anything you would like to give the students. You press on a pig and you put a hyperlink to slide 6 and then you press OK and now when you play the game 
and you press on the pig and you're gonna get to this slide then you press yes and so on and then you press on this cat's head to go back and that's it that's how you can modify in this game and also for the chicken you also have 10 questions you can hyperlink all of them and also for dog all right so as always if you've got any questions about this game you can let me know in the comments and if you like this video give a like and i'll see you in my next video peace